Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site, BettingAngle.us, a free site. Please do not consider anything in this video to be investment advice. I want all of you to think for yourself and to follow your own advisors and research. Right, let's just talk about structuring a bet. Let's say you're a baseball fan and you see Nathan Avaldi, pretty good pitcher, is going to be pitching for the Boston Red Sox in Game 6. Let's say you realize that the Red Sox, who might not be as good as the Astros, but that the Red Sox are in a different situation than the Astros. Right? It's win or go home for the Red Sox in Game 6. They're going to have to come strong because there is no tomorrow. Right? The Astros have less urgency. The Astros could lose Game 6 and still end up in the World Series by winning Game 7. The Red Sox don't have that luxury. So let's say you're thinking about betting on the Red Sox to win in Game 6. You're getting a little bit better than even money. My advice is don't do it. Because there's a better option out there. Folks, right now, to win the World Series... The Boston Red Sox are going off at a plus 900. 9 to 1. So here's where you want to think about hedging. Who wants a little bit better than even money when they could get a taste of 9 to 1? A margin so wide you have an opportunity to hedge. So if you think the Red Sox win game 6, instead of betting a dollar on game 6, and I'm using a dollar just to keep it simple, I know casinos have minimums, right? Rather than bet a dollar on game six, why not bet the dollar instead on the Red Sox to win it all? Here's what'll happen. If the Red Sox deliver in game six, for game seven, you can say, okay, well, now I have possible winnings of nine bucks on the dollar I bet. So for game seven, I'm going to bet two bucks on the Houston Astros. What's the harm? Understand, if the Astros then win game seven, you'll collect more than a dollar in profits, assuming the line is not far off from even money. Right? If you think it's going to be far off from even money, then at game seven, you could bet three bucks on the Astros. Understand, if the Astros win, you win more than a dollar. You still collect. But if the Astros lose Game 7, then you're looking at winning six bucks if the Red Sox, who would then be in the World Series, close the show. Not only that, you would have the Red Sox in the World Series at better than two to one odds. Let's think this through even further. I'll agree. The National League has a dominant team that's still in the running, right? The Dodgers did win 106 games in the regular season. The Dodgers are the defending champs. The Dodgers are incredibly deep. They are a great team. But guess what, folks? They're down three games to two. To a brave team that had a below 500 record in the regular season against winning teams. If the Braves, who aren't a dominant team, just look at the number of wins. If the Braves win one more game and get in the World Series, don't you think that they're beatable? If you're sitting there with their opponent at better than two to one odds, you can pat yourself on the back. And all of this happened because you thought the Red Sox had a chance to win Game 6 of the ALCS. So the bet to make right here in the AL, even though I know Houston's a great team, right? For months, I've been on my other site here on YouTube, BettingAngle.us, talking about how I thought the Astros and the Dodgers were the best teams in baseball. Right? I know the Astros are tough, but understand, you, you can hedge and profit in Game 7 
if you take the Red Sox here at a plus 900 and they win game six. So think it through, right? And of course, if the Red Sox end up winning game seven, then you're in the World Series, possibly against the Braves, a team that's beatable. Or you'd be against a Dodger team that's depleted by going seven games against the Braves and having to win the last three. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. The odds matter. How you structure bets matter. I can believe Houston's going to win the American League and still understand that if I think the Red Sox have a chance in game six, then this plus 900 future for them to win the World Series is worth the play. Let me hear your thoughts. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.